Today, we're going to be taking a look back, far into the past, about five to six years, and looking at the Pull Force November 1 by Lion Steel slash Pull Force, and talking about my updated thoughts and opinions on this little guy right here. Okay, guys, so what do I think of this thing? Six years in the future, or now that it's been six years with this little knife. Well, this is still an amazing knife, and I feel that Pull Force was possibly one of the most underrated or overlooked knife makers out there. And really, in fairness, they didn't too much make this knife because it was really made by Lion Steel, but Lion Steel did an excellent job on this knife. And it's a shame that, unfortunately, Pull Force, they haven't left the market, but they have gone by the wayside. And while I'm not going to get into the whole issues or what happened with the company, not saying there's any mismanagement per se, but I'm not going to discuss why they didn't have success here, because that would be largely speculation. But what I will say, or what I, we will talk about, is the ups and the downs of this knife now, six years later. So, the first down we're going to go with is the price. This thing is still, and maybe even more now because they no longer make it anymore, but this thing has quite an expense to it. And I feel that one thing I will touch on about the whole demise of Pull Force by and large is they overpriced all of their knives. This knife when it was new, retailed for around $340 to $365, and that's a little bit intense for a knife of this size and of this caliber, being that nylock steel, while uncommon, is basically D2, and you know, it just uses G10 scales. This is a nice knife, and it's made by Lion Steel, so it's high quality blade, it still performs very well to this day, but not at $360 to $340. So, the biggest win for me with this blade is the fact that it has some pretty great ergonomics. Now, this little back thing here, I don't really get it. It doesn't really work for me, but when you choke up on this knife, it feels very good. And it's a bit of a tactical knife, too. You know, it can easily press into that roll. But what I absolutely love about this knife from a user standpoint is it's just very comfortable, especially in its choked up state. When you're doing stuff with it, it feels like a good knife and that's because it really is, you know, when you hold it like this, or you hold it like this, it's very comfortable to get a good grip on, and overall, I, I really do love that. The other thing I love is its footprint, and what I mean by this is, it's a very reasonably compact knife to carry as a neck knife, that's how I've carried this thing for the whole life I've had it, and it's been very comfortable to carry as a neck knife, and it still is, even for it being on the larger side for a neck knife. It is a very comfortable neck knife to carry, and that is a huge plus for me. So, other than that, the durability for the past handful of years now has been good. I have not been carrying this as frequently as I probably should, primarily because it gets kind of forgotten about with the slew of other knives I carry. But, nonetheless, I, had, I did carry this for multiple years. And while I did carry it, it served me well. It kept its edge pretty good. I mean, once again, about as good as D2 does. And, yeah, the only thing I really ran into was I tend to be a very athletic person. So naturally, when you sweat and this thing is up against you, you can form some rust. Because, once again, D2 is not the most rust-resistant steel, and neither is Nylox. So, that is kind of a, another con to it. But overall, I really don't have that many cons against it. Some people may criticize the shape or the size of it, but I like it. And Lion Steel slash Pull Force did an amazing job on this knife, even this many years forward. Now, granted, I think the pricing of this knife is would be better received nowadays because of... I think the pricing of this knife would be better received nowadays because now we tend to spend a little bit more money on our knives. But back then, it just didn't end up working out. So, it's sad that it was discontinued. And it's sad that uh, Pull Force pulled out of the U.S. These things can be found, and Pull Forces can still be found. You know, if you're willing to order them from across the pond over in Europe and have them shipped over. But, by and large, these guys are pretty well kind of faded out. 
and just doing this as a quick update to it because like I said this knife is pretty awesome and it definitely deserves just a little bit more attention than what it had been in the past so anyways guys what do I think of it it's still awesome I still love this knife and to be completely honest especially due to its rarity now that it's gone and full force has basically left the U.S. market, I'm definitely never getting rid of it because it's just been an awesome little guy and it's very convenient when you need something, whether it's, you know, tactical, like you want a kind of tactical neck knife, just wear around your neck in case you're going into a shady place, or if you're just looking for a really hardy survival knife, uh, this is an awesome choice and when it's something that I love for survival and outdoors for this blade is the fact that they have the spine rounded off here and going up but right at this transition point they actually flatten it so you can still kind of strike ferro rods off the back of it and it's you get all the benefits of the rounded spine that you see there but you get the benefits of having a square spine here it also makes it for a very comfortable grip when you're holding the knife so anyways guys that is the Pull Force November one. Hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of retrospective. This isn't really a review, just kind of a look back at this knife because this isn't the type of knife that you're just going to be able to go run on Amazon or Blade HQ and buy anymore. You could buy this on Blade HQ years ago, but uh, you're not going to be able to get it anymore. So anyways, just wanted to take a look at it, kind of share with you guys this knife and give it some more recognition because it's a pretty sweet blade.